Hey there, folks. This week's videos will spend a lot of time looking at our Ecolicious experiment. As you can see, uh, our Ecolicious experiment is a big part of our ecology unit. Our ecology unit includes chapters one through four, and half of this whole unit will be doing this experiment, focusing on these things we call eco cups, using them to complete our Ecolicious experiment. This week's videos focus on the idea of experiment and just doing good science. Let's recap what we did the following week or the, the earlier week. In the earlier week, we focused on what we wanted to identify as an important problem in ecology. And when we did this, we looked at photos, we looked at images. We looked at a lot of examples, images just like this, or here, or here, or here. We looked at these images in order to get an idea of problems that our environment are facing. We asked ourselves, this problem, how do humans impact our environment? So we were doing good science. Just like in page 36, you've glued into your notebook this scientific strategy. So the first step in doing good science is identifying a, an important problem. And for us, that problem was uh, how do humans impact our environment? Next thing we did is we gathered as much info as we could. So you came together with your homies at your team tables and you brainstormed ideas. And it looks basically you end up with a list, a list of examples of human impacts on Burbank. And then you chose a favorite and you made an argument why, like why you should make an experiment that focuses on that favorite idea or that favorite variable, that one you thought was most important that everyone liked, that was an example of human impact on Burbank. Have it here. Our step one for this experiment was first we get some groups and we learn our roles, and then we created and brainstormed. We gathered as much important information as we could about the issue, and we chose a variable that we thought was most important or interesting for this experiment. So everybody has that now. Uh, the second step that we want to start working on is designing cups that will allow us and engineer those cups and figure out how to engineer or build them for the experiment. And here's a real quick uh, overview. We'll be doing this in class, but it shows you how to build some eco cups. It shows you how to further engineer them or design them with these very specific uh, metric measurements. So we have these procedures we'll need to learn. You'll do this with your teams in class. You'll plant some seeds. You'll plant a specific species of seeds called avena, otherwise known as oat. And they have specific metric requirements so that they grow properly. And every team will control or follow these shared um, procedures. And in the end, you're going to have these two eco cups in general. These two eco cups will require you um, to be very uh, experimental. And you will use these cups to basically create the experiment you want, to design the experiment you want. Here's a good example. Here's a, a student group from last year. They went through the whole process of designing their experiment. And once they designed it, all they really needed to do was measure the data, collect the data, as you can see the student doing. But for us to get from thinking of an important variable to designing it, requires us to know some certain vocabulary. We need to understand what variables are. We need to understand how to design a good experiment. And we need to think about the right vocab so that you can design your experiment. In short, this week's homework videos is all about designing a good experiment. It's about helping us understand our methods and helping us understand what variables are in an experiment. So we're going to watch a few videos that focus on experiments, the methods of experimentation, and variables. Videos, you'll be ready for this worksheet. I'll zoom in on it. This worksheet covers the methods of your Ecolicious experiment and expects you to know what independent and dependent variables are measuring your independent variable and having a plan for it. 
Also, after watching these videos this week, you'll be more prepared and confident like these teams have about putting specifics about their, their Eco Cup designs, their Ecolicious experiment designs, what their independent variable was, what their dependent variable is, um, a hypothesis on what they feel will happen with their independent variable. And then of course, just going on and on, lots of information about these variables and how they're designing their experiment so that the variables are measured correctly. To get there, we need to first figure out what these words mean. Dependent variable, independent variable, controlling the variable. In all the videos this week on Edpo 